Hi guys! Welcome to another vlog. It's been a couple of weeks since we've seen each other. I went somewhere. Um, I feel like I have so much to update you guys on, but I don't want to be like a podcast and talk for an hour, but I probably will anyways, as y'all know. But yeah, so today is Tuesday. Um, I worked these past couple of days, so we're kind of back on our new routine, or our normal routine today. And I'm a little sad about it, I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm so sad. But let's start from the beginning. So since you last saw me, so Brian did go on a work trip for about a week. My father-in-law came to help out with the kiddos because Avery was on spring break and I still had to work because I used up most of my PTO. So he came to help out and that week was like weird because like I missed Brian so much and I didn't realize how like, it's hard to explain. Like I, I normally as like a normal everyday person could just lay in bed and fall asleep and I know that's a gift. I know it's a gift, but it's also because I'm so tired all the time. I can just every night when I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed, I lay down, I turn off the light and I, I pass out within like five seconds. The whole week Brian was gone I could not sleep. I had like the worst insomnia. I would lay in like lay in bed awake until midnight every night just staring at the ceiling. It was horrible until like I finally would just like pass out. It was the worst, but we did fine. Everything was great. Um, it was a good work trip for him. He came home Friday night at like 10 and we left Saturday morning at 5 a.m. for the airport, so. That was super fun. We took the kiddos to Disney. We surprised them. I have not stopped wearing this hoodie for the past like six days. I'm gonna wash it tomorrow and I'm a little sad about it because like, first of all, it's cozy, but second of all, it's just so fun. So yes, we did surprise the kids with Disney. They have got to be the most goofiest, naive kiddos on the planet because like I said, we left Saturday morning, Friday all day, I was packing and they are so goofy. I was like telling Avery, I was like, oh, like, don't remember, like, or don't forget, we have to wake up super early to take Papa to the airport tomorrow. And she was like, okay. And I was like, can you charge up your iPad and like your headphones? And she's like, why? I'm like, cause we're gonna be sitting in the airport. And she's like, okay. And then like, I was packing our suitcase and not only was I just like packing it, I wasn't doing it discreetly by any like sense of the imagination. Not only was I packing it, but like we had just bought Avery a bunch of like shorts because she needs shorts anyway for the summer. And I was having her try some on and be like, do these fit? Do these fit? And like they didn't question me at all. Like at all. They were running in and out of my room as I'm packing. No questions. I was like, okay. And then we woke up Saturday morning. Well, Brian came home, whatever. Everything was great. Woke up Saturday morning, put the suitcase in the trunk put both the kiddos like backpacks in the trunk and like all of us were wearing like cozy clothes and they both were just like, we're going to the airport. I'm like, you guys, how do you not see this? But I mean, they're just kids and it was so cute. So we get to the airport, um, we park our car at like one of the parking lots, which like to me would have rang alarm bells. Like why are we parking our car at a, like one of the overnight parking lots? You know what I mean? And we go through security and the kids are even still like, and like, no, we gave them our suitcase. Like we did a, not a carry on. What is it? Not a carry on, checked bag. And the kids were still just like, I'm at the airport. I'm like, oh my gosh, go through security. Um, we get to the gate and my father-in-law comes with us cause his flight didn't leave for like another couple hours after ours. And the kids just thought we were waiting with him at the gate. And I'm like, the gate literally says Orlando, Florida. And like, finally it was like close to boarding time. And we were like, okay kids, like we finally told them. And Avery was like shocked. I'm like, how are you shocked? But it was just, I don't know. We were both giggling and like, it was just, it was fun. And the trip, I mean, like I said, I could sit here and talk to you for like an hour and a half about every detail of our trip because Honestly, I feel like this was the best Disney trip we've been on. We did so many new things for us. Like, and I don't know, I just had like the best time and like the weather was so good. And I was so anxious because like, from like every spring break week until like after Easter, Disney is apparently like at its busiest because it's spring break for like everybody all the time. Like the Florida locals and everybody, like everybody has spring break at some point in that time. And so I was really nervous about like the wait times, but like we must have gotten so lucky. We were talking to our Lyft driver and he was like, yeah, the Florida local spring break was last week. And we were like, haha, so was ours. Um, so like the parks might be busy, but not like super, super busy. And he was so right. Like it wasn't dead by any means, but like 
the longest we waited for a ride was rise of the resistance and that was the last day and we waited an hour and i don't feel like that was that bad because like every other wait time for us was like five minutes ten minutes some were 20 but it wasn't even that bad you know what i mean i don't know i just feel like we had such a good try good time i'm sorry i haven't talked to a camera in so long such a good time we tried a bunch of new foods um experienced a lot of fun new things um i actually like i went into this trip like not really loving animal kingdom and i left like loving animal kingdom because we did so much at animal kingdom uh, i did get sick i had to go to first aid on our epcot day because i literally okay first of all like this is just backstory i have a really bad stomach as it is like i just like this is gonna be so personal so if you're new to my channel i apologize i just can't i can't poop i just can't like i just can't sometimes it's really hard and so i had just been and especially on vacation it's hard so like we were just eating and eating and eating and like the last after we had dinner at epcot we had space 220 by the way which was like avery was like that was so up her alley it was so cool um i had to go to first aid and take some pepto because i thought i was gonna throw up <laughs> so it really sucked but uh, afterwards, everything was great. We had a really good trip. And uh, as soon as we left, and even now, I'm sad. I would like to go back because I love being in the Disney bubble. I love how my kids are. I love walking 20,000 steps a day. I love that Brian checks the miles at the end of the day when we're on the bus. He was like, God damn. But I'm happy to be home, happy to be back in our routine, but also sad. So we came home. Thursday, today's Tuesday, uh, Friday, Avery had her first spring dance, which was really cute. And afterwards we went out to dinner with some friends, which was really great, which like a food truck park. The kids got to play, which was awesome. And then Saturday was just kind of like a, I gotta get back into the groove of things type of day, watch some soccer. We watched soccer while we were at Disney too, but it was just the first day, so it wasn't like anything crazy. And I went back to work. And now I'm here and I'm ready to get down to business. So I've been talking to you for seven minutes. I told you I could talk for hours. I have so many stories from Disney, like so many things happened. It was so wonderful, but I will not bore you. I will not bore you. So I'm on, I, I, maybe I will, maybe one day I'll sit down and just talk for an hour and a half about it, but that'll be my plan with me. We're back to work. Um, probably not gonna wear this all day. Like I said, I do need to wash it, but like the sleeves are really hangy and I don't wanna get them in wax, but I am gonna be making wax today. I also have another Disney shirt underneath this. So you'll see that because I bought a few shirts because I was really excited to be there. Um, what else? Yeah, so I have to make wax today. I don't know who told me to do two, two full collections this week, but here we are. I have one of everything completely done, but like it's definitely gonna take me all this week and like a good chunk of next week to work on these two collections, which is fine realistically, but also like what was going on in my brain? And also, will I do this again? Yes. <laughs> we gotta get started. It's nine o'clock. I've spent most of the morning laying in bed with Reagan. I filmed a haul this morning that needs to go up tomorrow because I have not been filming any videos and we gotta get started working. So I'm gonna get started on the Bob's Burgers collection initially. And if I have space for any of the Eras stuff, I will fit it in. But that's going to take me a long time because I can only do one cent at a time. So that's probably what I'm going to be working on most of towards the end of this week slash next week. So yeah, today's just going to be a heavy wax melt making day. Um, I got to make the labels. I still haven't made those. Um, what else do I need to do today? Bop around. That's kind of it. Um, I'm trying a new recipe tonight. I would like to try one new recipe a week. So I'm trying a new one tonight I actually want to type that up and print that out though because it's so much easier to read it from like a printed piece of paper than from my phone I've noticed so I'm gonna do a lot of wax melt making today working on Bob's burgers Isn't it so cute how we released the Cinderella collection and then went to Disney? That was so cute So proud of me for that. I didn't realize that was gonna happen and then it lined up so nicely Um, I don't know why their dog's barking. It makes me think someone's at my door, but it's they're not I don't know what's going on anyways so working on wax today that's kind of it like i really don't think there's anything else i really need to be doing today it's just i just need to be making wax because i've already filmed i could also film a plan with me like i could start filming a plan with me um make labels print labels that's kind of it so that's just what we're gonna work on today sorry i've talked your ear off for 10 minutes um let's get started i need to take this off and you'll get to see my next shirt which I don't like the sleeves on it. I love long sleeves, but when the long sleeves are not tight on the ends, it drives me bonkers. 
But I really like this shirt and Brian picked it out because he thought it was cute. Hold on. It's from Epcot. Isn't it cute? I have so many, I don't have so many shirts, but I did get a few, okay? I got a few. So, let's get started. Can I get to work today? I'm so sad to be back. I love being on vacation. I mean, who doesn't love being on vacation? But like, I love being on vacation. Let's get to work. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to make wax. I definitely felt rejuvenated for sure. Cause I was burnt out y'all, but let's get back to work. All right, so I have everything set up. I don't know why she just started crying. Um, I'm able to do a lot, which is great. I'm really crooked. Um, I'm going to be doing the first round is going to be about 17 pictures, which is on the higher side, but I was able to fix or like fix everything up to where I can do a ton. So I'm doing two rounds of Bob, two rounds of Linda, one round of Tina, two of Jean, one of Louise, one of Teddy, three of Mort. Oh, the Mort scent is so good. Three of Mort, three and th three of Jimmy Jr., one Gale and one Wonder Wharf, which Wonder Wharf is also good. I don't know. You guys are going to be seeing this a week after release because it releases this Friday for me. But I, for the longest time, did not like kettle corn scents like popcorn scents kettle corn and popcorn are two very different scents i'm not gonna lie um i never liked kettle corn i like had an oil that i liked but i found that this blend for wonder wharf which is kettle corn vanilla butter fudge and zucchini bread is so good Ugh, and of course my camera's dying but it's so good so i'm really excited for that one so like don't sleep on the kettle corn it's really great so i'm gonna get started get a new battery but it's gonna take me a few hours to do all of this i'll probably check in after um yeah it's today's just gonna be a wax melt making day there's not much else that i really want to do wax melt making label making prepping for the next release actually maybe i'll start prepping for future releases because i have the next release already like done because it was let's blend um i have reagan's fave i need to actually make that i'll make that this week and then the next collection after that i gotta get started so lots going on but i'm feeling good about today and i'm feeling happy and not necessarily refreshed because i'm still tired but that's just my everyday life so Let's get to work, okay? Okay, so I'm done pouring. I can probably start again at noon-ish. I pop everything out and go again. I did crack an Alani. Here's the thing. I haven't been drinking caffeine at all. Like I just cold turkey quit when I was having like the chest problems because like I thought that like that was attributed. It's, I don't think it is, but I just stopped and I was like, I felt better. I mean, Granted, I'm more tired, but I feel better not drinking as much caffeine. But I forgot to cancel my Amazon subscribe and save. So I have like two boxes of 12 packs of Alani's in the pantry. And I told Brian he can have them, but he's also trying to stop drinking caffeine. But I felt like today kind of called for it because like I'm really sleepy. And I just need to be like a little bit more like focused. But regardless, finished doing that. It smells like summer in this house like it smells like summer it smells so good i'm gonna get to doing computer work now i'm going to make all those labels which is actually gonna take me quite a bit of time because i have 21 to no 23 to make which like doesn't sound like a lot but it's gonna take me a minute and i might tweak something on the labels we will see um then i'm going to put all the let's blend stuff into monday get that done which is easy and i was thinking probably do my april budget and then probably get started on my 2023 expenses sheet which granted i probably should have done forever ago but i have just been putting it off and now it's getting to crunch time so i need to do it so i'll probably get started on that and that will get done at some point this week because it needs to get done so that's the plan just to sit here on the computer for a little bit I was trying to think if there's anything else I could do today. And I mean, I'm sure there's there's stuff I could do. Like, I'm sure there's stuff I could do. But, like, why push it, you know? And I was telling Brian this, too. Like, when I don't have an open pre-order, I almost feel like I can kind of breathe a little bit better. I can, like, work a little slower. I don't feel, like, as rushed to finish collections quickly so I can get back to the pre-order. Granted, we are going to have an open pre-order here again soon. But for the time being, I'm feeling a little bit easy breezy and it's kind of nice so yeah i'm just gonna work on some computer work i got a bunch done i was really nervous with the bob scent because as i was doing it i did two rounds of it 
I ran out of caramel latte and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, that's not enough. Like that, that's, that does not make enough for me to want to sell because it's such a good scent. And then, so I was like getting upset and frustrated with myself for not like doing the math correctly. And then I looked and I had a whole other thing of caramel latte and I was like, well, womp womp, I'm a dum dum. So feeling good about that. But yeah, so I'm going to do some computer work now and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. This is like back end stuff. I'm still working on the website. My goal is to have the website open. I would like to have it open um, before the pre order for sure, but at least one release before the pre order because I want to do like one full release, get that like sent out and like not practice necessarily, but understand the system and then do the pre order on the website which I'm like kind of nervous about, but I feel like it's not, it, like I feel like it's not rocket science. Like so many people wake, make websites every single day. Like it shouldn't be rocket science for me, but for some reason I'm like nervous about it and I don't know why, like, you know what I mean? I don't know, just what's going on in my brain. So yeah, let's do some computer work now. I feel like I'm really chatty and it's like not me. I'm also not drinking this whole thing. I should have, I wish I subscribed and saved like the hundred ones, but like the mini ones, but I'm gonna probably drink like half of this, honestly, and then put the rest in the fridge and see if Brian wants it for later. But that's the plan. So I'm making labels right now, and this is what I think I'm gonna change, just a little tweak. This used to say Port in Austin, Texas, and granted it still could say that, but I feel like pour dates are a little bit more important to people versus where it was poured, because like you can see when you get your package, like where we live. So like, I think I'm gonna start doing not like an actual like March, what's today, the 26th? I'm not gonna put like March 26th just because sometimes I pour things like for a particular scent. It could take me like three days and I feel like the specific date, I mean, I yes, maybe it matters to some people, but I think generally the month is the most important. So March, 2024, I'm gonna start tweaking it so everything has this instead. I actually should just save this really quick. Um, so I have that, but yeah, so obviously this is like, I'm, this is from the Hocus Pocus collection, but yeah, that's my little tweak. And I think that that's going to be something that is a little bit more important than Port in Austin, Texas. All right, I figured, sorry, you can't see me. I'd pop in real quick and update you guys since I haven't really updated you since earlier. It's been a few hours. We did eat lunch. I did do everything I said I was going to do. I got the first quarter of 2023 expenses written down, which is good or like put into my stuff. Um, and I'm currently in the middle of working on the second round of today. It's like 2.30 ish right now. So Avery should be out of school here soon, which is great. Um, yeah, this round is almost done. I think I have three pictures of it left. I had 16 total for this round. So that's pretty great. Got a huge chunk done. I only have to do two rounds tomorrow of Bob's Burgers at least. Bob's, I said that we're Bob's Burgers at least. Um, and then that collection will be complete and I should be able then to do two rounds of the era stuff tomorrow. I'm hoping like... It's like frustrating because like, I don't know what possessed me to want to do mini chunk bags for this because, and especially because it's 11 cents, it takes forever because like I can only do one round at a time and that really sucks. So I'm going to wrap this up quickly because I have stuff on the stove, but basically I'm going to at least do two tomorrow. I'd like to do three Thursday and I have to work Saturday in order to complete this era stuff so that way I can do orders next week if that makes any sense. Like it has to be done so that way I can have orders done within my time frame that I set for myself. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, that's where it is and it's fine. I'm just gonna have to work on Saturday a little bit but I'm not gonna like pressure myself to do three rounds on Saturday. Like if I only get two done, I get two done and that's great. But I'm happy to have at least the Bob's Burgers stuff done which is great. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to that. Once I'm finished, I have like, again, like an hour and a half ish to let those cool. I'll probably just keep working on my computer. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I got so tired though, staring at the screen. I was like, you know what I mean? Can't stare at screens for too long. Even though I do blue light glasses now, like they're blue light lenses. So anyways, you don't care. I'm going to go keep working. I'm almost done. I'm excited about this. I'm feeling really positive and I can't wait to cook tonight. I'm hoping that our dinner turns out really good. I need to print the recipe. I need to type it up first and then print it. I'm back. Um, sorry, I feel like, uh, I like noticed this because, here, I'll get to where I'm trying to go, okay? I'll start over, because sometimes I'm not a good storyteller. I've come to that conclusion. I just got a Facebook like group request, fantasy wax group request, and on there there's like group questions before like you join the group, just answer the questions, whatever, it's super easy. I feel like all groups have that. And one of the questions is how did you find us? And somebody just um, tried to join the group and they put, I found you because 
one of my friends sent me a zucchini bread sugar, sugar cookie royale sample and it was the best thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. And not only does that make my day, but it just like reminds me that like, I'm a try hard. I am. I'm a, I try so hard with this business. Like I work my tail off. And what I was trying to say at the beginning of this clip is I always pop in here and I'm like, just got done doing this or just did this. And I know I don't show you everything because there is so much that goes into this. Like it's not just like cut and dry. I make wax. I put labels on it. I send it out. Like I, I put so much thought, so much time, so much energy, passion more passion, more energy into this. So to see like just a simple, like I got a sample from a friend and it was the best thing I've ever smelled. It, it like, it makes my day. Like it really does. So when I come on here and I'm like, Oh, I just did that. I like, I hope that you guys like, don't just think it's, I don't know, maybe actually. Yeah. I hope you think it's easy because <laughs> we're all tired, but yeah. So I don't know. My day's made. Um, and yeah, so I just got finished pouring obviously Avery's home. We did her homework. She has this like weekly, like it's like a quick, not weekly. It's like a weekly sheet, but daily there's like a couple of math problems. So she's been just like coming home and busting those out real quick. And it's making me really proud because math has definitely been a struggle for her this year because I feel like third grade is when you hit like hard stuff. Like it's not simple addition and subtraction anymore. This girl's out here multiplying. She's out here dividing. Like she's doing fractions. Like it's getting intense because state testing starts this year for her. So um, we did that and then yeah, now I'm back to my expenses sheet because I'm not gonna be able to pop out molds till like f close to 4.30 and by that time I'll pop everything out, probably like scrub the kitchen down, scrub my hands, I'll probably go upstairs and quickly edit the haul, which will take three minutes and then start dinner with you guys, which I still need to print, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna work on this expenses sheet for the next hour as much as I can. And I think I can finish it. Like I said, I did the first quarter of the year um, in like 20, 30 minutes. So I, th I definitely think I can finish it out. Hopefully, and if not, it's I'm not in a rush. It'll get done this week and that'll be fine. So, and this should be another kick in the butt. I've done this four years, three years now, four years now. Yeah, I was like, what? Um, I should just start working on them, you know, every month, sit down and go through, but you know me. <laughs> It's not that fun and I love to torture myself. But anyway, sorry. I feel like I've just talked myself in circles Is it the caffeine which I did just put the rest away, but I can drink it all I can't it's too much. My brain is like fizzy already and I'm tired <sighs> But yeah, so I'm gonna work on this um, I'm excited to make dinner. Hopefully it's good That's always like stressful with new recipes. I'm like, I hope it's good cuz like if it's not <laughs> We just have to eat like pierogies or something because everything else is allotted for another night but like it's fine it's fine this is the first day brian's been physically back at work since he got back from his work trip i don't think he's been in his office for like two weeks which is crazy but i know he's happy because like he got a bunch of like gifts like he were it's hard to explain but like he's such a people person and people love him and like I, I love him too, so I see it. And they send him like gift baskets and stuff. He sent me a picture of his desk this morning. There's like a three pound bag of Jolly Ranchers on his desk that someone sent with a note that was like, thank you so much. And I'm like, I also like Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Bring me a handful. Um, He's, he's so sweet. Um, But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep working on this. Drink some water. I need to drink a lot of water because I didn't really drink any this morning and I chug water. And that's kind of where we're at today. That's where we're at. And I'm feeling really good because like, like I said earlier, just not juggling a lot of things is very good for my mental health. And it's very good for like my shoulders because the weight's not on them. I'm kidding. <sighs> and I'm having FOMO. I want to go back to Disney so bad, but like it's not going to happen for a couple years probably again, which is fine because by then more things will be there because there was a lot of new stuff there when we went this year. So it'll be nice to have more new things, you know, anyways. We have another trip coming in like two months to see family. So I need to just stop being a, a brat, honestly. And I need to start making money again because, oh my gosh, Disney is not cheap. It is just not. And when you're there, I feel like, at least for me, I just don't see price tags. And then I come home and I look at my statements and I'm like, oh, that was a really expensive dinner. I've never spent that much at a dinner before <sighs> for my kid to eat six bites. All right, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'll let you guys, or I'll just 
we'll check in later. My brain is literally fried. It's ex exactly four o'clock right now. Oh my gosh, like I can't even open my eyes. I'm on November, so I'm just gonna keep going because I'm almost done. But I recently, I've been watching Memory Box Candle Company on YouTube since we started making sense because like I'm pretty sure her company and our company started like around the same time and Brian found her channel first and um told me to watch her and like I've been watching her for years now because we started around the same time and it's so interesting to see how both of our businesses have been flourishing and like the differences and stuff like that I'd highly recommend her channel too um but she does this video at the end of every year where she goes over how much money she's made, which is crazy. I love see, like I love seeing numbers, and I'm also nosy. And I know y'all are nosy too. Like we can't lie, we're all nosy people. It's just it's a thing. I think it's a thing to be nosy. Um, but she goes over how much she's made and how much her expenses are, and that to me is just always so interesting. So I'm sitting here doing my expenses sheet. Like I said, I'm on November, so I haven't like totaled everything up yet. But I was thinking I could share with you guys my expenses because like there's like i've said before there's so much behind the scenes that you guys don't know and expenses i don't really mind sharing with you how much i've spent um on the business i think when we look at it together we're all gonna not feel great but um you have to spend money to make money i guess that's like the best quote i can say right now but um yeah, so once I'm finished, I'll share with you all the numbers and I'll share with you my breakdowns and stuff. And I think that's super interesting. And if that's something you guys care about, definitely let me know because I don't mind sharing that at the end of, I mean, I know we're a quarter of the way almost through this year. But um, once I finish my expense sheets, sharing that with you guys, I think it's interesting information. So um, I'm gonna finish. I'm on a November 12th order right now. And <laughs> hopefully I can finish this quickly and pop these out but yeah so i'll do this i'll share with you pop out and then i'll start making dinner Ugh, i feel like i'm gonna start making around five o'clock which kind of sucks but it's fine also i need to chug more water because I, I swear i'm like falling out now that's why i don't drink caffeine because it like makes me crash like i always get a crash if you haven't noticed when i used to drink alani's every single day i would crash around like 3 p.m and without caffeine i don't experience that i do sleep better at night but i'm just generally tired i just don't feel like i could sleep fall asleep right away i don't know if that makes any sense whatever all that to say i need water so i'm gonna finish this up and then i'll do the breakdowns with you guys is that interesting i'm sure it is like i said we're all nosy people we all like to know these things so i'll share that with you in a minute so just want to quickly side note um i haven't finished yet sorry that it's interesting because i was looking at our expenses sheet for 2020 and 2021 because we started at the end of 2020 just to see it's really interesting to see the prices of fragrance oils and wax because it's gone up tremendously over the past few years. When we first started, a 50 pound box of wax was like $99 with shipping. And now it's almost 150. Yeah, inflation is fun. So love that for us. But anyway, I just wanted to note that. I'm, I'm almost done. I'm on November 26th right now. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm officially done. I need to actually get going though because it's 4.30 and I still need to pop those out and get dinner started. Running a little bit behind today, but that's okay because I decided to finish this. I could have waited all week, but you know, here we are. Um, it's gross. It is. It is. I haven't compared it to past years, but I know that both the oils and the wax is at least a thousand dollars more. So that's really fun. Um, I'll do all my comparisons tomorrow. I'll just do them by myself because that's like I need to do them by myself because I need to figure out stuff. I also need to figure out inflation. Anyways, so let's get started. Oh! Ah, she scared me. This is the second time you've done that. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, anyway, figured that one out. So we're gonna start with like the easy stuff and then I'll end with the painful things. Uh, starting with shipping supplies. Shipping supplies can be shipping labels, the bubble bags, mailers, and the PO box. Uh, total is $1,541.18 for shipping supplies. Um, decorations. Now this has changed throughout the years because decorations used to be glitters and things like that. The price of this has definitely gone down. It used to be in the thousands because I would spend so much money on those glitters and the toppings and all of those. Now decorations are just molds. I just have molds. So last year I spent $312.51 on molds, which is not bad. That's probably where it like evens out between the oils and the toppings from previous years. So I'm fine with that. I haven't totaled everything else up yet, but that's fine. Um, then, like I said, I'm skipping the fun stuff. Uh, then we have product packaging. That could be um, the baggies, um, my labels and cups, loaf tins, that stuff. Uh, total was $1,286.32 for that. And then I have a miscellaneous category. For me, miscellaneous stuff is straight up just 
printer stuff. So Mommy, it's mostly printer paper and printer ink. Can you tell the, the block that I'm going to kindergarten? Yes, the vlog does know you're going to kindergarten this year, okay? <laughs> so it's mostly just printer stuff right now, um, which is fine. So the total for that is three hundred and fifty dollars and nine cents. And now we're getting into the fun stuff. I'll start with I'll start with uh, wax. No, I'll start. Wax is most expensive. So I'll start with uh, fragrance oils. So fragrance oils are just that, just fragrance oils, and sometimes dyes. But I think I only bought dyes once last year. But it's in there because it was dyes and oils. Anyway, total for that last year was six thousand dollars ninety four cent or ni six thousand ninety four dollars and sixty six cents. Love that. And then last is wax, which wax totaled out to seven thousand dollars or seven thousand three hundred and twenty two dollars and sixty three cents. Anyways. That's how much I spent on my business last year. I don't know if I totaled anything else in. I'm sure there's like gotta be something else I can total in, but that's what I spent on the business last year. It hurts, but it's there. I need to cook now. So let me open this up. I don't even know if I have time. I have time to print it. I gotta pop all these molds out, open my eyes and uh, get to cooking. Cause it's 431. I gotta cook. Okay, it's time to cook. It's 510. This is gonna take me a minute and I'm a little bit lightly stressed because like, why did I choose to do that? But. That's my own choice. Um, three of the scents I couldn't pop out yet because they're larger and they're not completely cooled yet. So they are just pushed to the back. I will do that after dinner and that is fine. She's being imagination station over there. So she's just chatting. I printed my recipe. It looks really small because it's simple. Honey, garlic, chicken, and noodles, okay? You need, the recipe calls for chicken breast. That's not me. I got chicken thighs. I'm a chicken thigh person. Chicken thighs, um, rice noodles. Broccoli, which I'm gonna cut up. Carrots, which she bought, like just regular baby carrots and chopped them up. I found matchstick carrots. I don't need to chop those. Uh, green onion, soy sauce, honey, salt, pepper, garlic powder, which my salt, I don't know where my like little salt shaker went. So I have this, so I need to buy a salt shaker. Um, butter, garlic, you can use like real garlic. I love minced garlic. And this, which is special and amazing, and I'm really excited. It's a Japanese barbecue sauce. I got it at H-E-B, and I heard it's incredible, so I'm like very excited. I need to open this up, actually. Um, I'm excited to use it because I've heard, like, not only just for this recipe is it really good, but the whole, like, comment section on her TikTok was essentially people being like, I've always wanted to use Japanese barbecue sauce and didn't know how, and this recipe is, like, perfect for it, so I have that. So I'm just gonna do like the prep work first, which is essentially just to chop up some chicken. It was two chicken breast diced, so I'm just gonna eye how much chicken I feel like chopping up. And then you put the chicken chopped up in a bowl with two tablespoons of the Japanese barbecue sauce and then salt, pepper, lots of garlic powder and starch, which I do not have starch. So I'm gonna use flour. I Googled it and if you want it, Reagan, if you wanna substitute flour for starch, you need to just double that. So I'm gonna do one fourth cup of flour. Mix that all up. I'll come back to you when that's all mixed. Okay, so everything is in the bowl mixed. All of the stuff, the barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce. Yep, that's it. Barbecue sauce smells incredible. So I'm gonna get a pan going with some oil. You're supposed to cook it on medium high heat, five minutes per side. It's chicken thighs though, so I'm just gonna eyeball it because like five minutes sounds right, but we'll see. Um, and then I think while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up our vegetables. Actually, I might chop up the vegetables now. I changed cutting boards. Um, I'm just gonna chop the green onions and like really chop up the um, broccoli. I'm gonna move that um, just like a little bit. And I'm gonna do that while, actually, yeah, while that's going, so. That's what I'm gonna do right now, okay? Chicken thighs, not five minutes. They cook quick, especially with the flour on it. It creates a really nice crust. So I did like three and a half minutes. I just flipped them. Is it smoky in here? It might just be me. Um, I have the water boiling, I chopped up. I have my butter ready to go. I have my broccoli and green onion chopped up as well as the carrots not chopped up because they don't need to be. Um, I'm gonna start making the sauce as soon as I pull the chicken out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the chicken onto a plate and then I'm going to kind of turn the heat down a little bit, put the butter in, let that kind of ooze up, maybe a little bit of garlic and then um, all the veggies in there just to soften. I'm gonna cook the rice noodles according to the package and then I'll make the sauce. Mix it all together at the end. I think it's gonna be good. Cross my fingers here. So that's where we're at. 
some broccoli. Probably could use a few more pieces cut because it's kind of not super good. But anyways, I was a little stressed there because I flipped one over and I was like, oh, this is burned. But no, it's a crust. Stop. Time to keep going. Looking good so far. I will say I do think I made too many noodles per the amount of sauce. So I did just make like a bunch more sauce. Um, mix it all up. We're going to give it a try. <sighs> Cross your fingers. I need to clean up this kitchen. It is <laughs> a mess. The barbecue sounds really good though. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it's good. I mean, uh, could it be bad? I don't know, but I need to clean up. So I'm going to clean up and then I'll tell you if we enjoyed it later. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. It's 7.45. I'm in the office right now because I did not get the haul edited and uploaded last night that was 100 percent on me sorry the glare is probably terrible but that was 100 on me um uh, brian came home we ate dinner and we watched we started watching fargo last night it's the first time we ever started watching it and i'm really excited it was my pick for a show to watch because it was next on my list so we watched the first episode last night i don't know if i have any thoughts yet i don't even know what's going on it's a mess but i'm having a good time um so i just didn't have an opportunity and like when i did have an opportunity i just wanted to read and go to bed so that's on me but I rendered that and while it was rendering I filmed a base of a plan with me I have all my planner scraps and stuff right here that was nice I haven't filmed a plan with me in a couple weeks so that was really cool hopefully I can have one up next week because I need to get back ahead I'm like two weeks now behind my already two month behind schedule hopefully I can catch up again soon but me catching up is like I like to be like a month behind. I don't like to be like right caught up. Maybe because like it takes me forever to decide on like underlays, and by the time I decide, like I have to order them, and then they take a little to get in, and then it's a whole thing. So I'm like, I like being a little bit behind. But regardless, that video is now up. I just uploaded it. I filmed, like I said. Dinner was really great last night. I actually really enjoyed it. I do want to tweak some things the next time I make it because I will make it again because Brian also really liked it. Um, probably use either no noodles or way less noodles. I was thinking about no noodles and just do the chicken with a ton of vegetables. Like, like the amount of vegetables I used last night, I want to use like four times that because the veggies were so good with the sauce on top. So I want to do the chicken and the veggies and I think maybe I'll do it over a rice next time. I mean, I could still do the noodles, but I just used way too many noodles and it wasn't like the best. Um, but it was really good. The sauce was great. The honey, the Japanese barbecue, the garlic, the soy sauce, all of it. Amazing. I need to charge this camera. Already dying. So that was good. But today is mostly another full work day. I did a lot of computer work yesterday, so that's good that that's out of the way. But I feel like I have a lot to do. So I'm going to do laundry today because... I do, well here, let me change the battery and then I'll chat with you about laundry. So what I was saying about laundry is, um, I need to know what type of person you are when you get back from a trip. Are you like an immediately unpack type of person or are you like a, it just kind of sits in the suitcase until you get to it situation? Me, I'm an immediately unpack. So our garage, like the entrance from our garage to our house is right next to our laundry room. So every time we've come home from a vacation, I just pull the suitcase in. I open it right there in the doorway. I dump all the laundry in and I get that going. And then that way, like there's really nothing else really to unpack. Just mostly toiletries and cords. Um, was there anything else in that suitcase? I think the girls had some plushies and then we did bring home snacks, but like that was really like, that was right there. So I could just put it in the pantry. Um, so I'm like an unpack right away kind of person. So I did do laundry last week, but it was just our Disney laundry. It wasn't like anything that like from weeks prior and obviously since we've been home. So I have to do laundry today and it might be a little bit, uh, I think it'll be kind of normal, honestly. Yeah, I think it'll be normal. But anyway, have to do laundry today. And then I would love to film the new releases video today. So I have to get ready and do that. Making wax. We'll finish Bob's Burgers today and get, you know, started on the era stuff. Not going to get any like chunk done or anything. And I also would like to do one of Reagan's fave today as well. She said she wants it to be red. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going to question her one more time to see what color she wants. It might be a red snap bar. I don't know, but I'm going to do that today. And then is there anything else I need to do today? Laundry, film, make wax. I think that's it. Avery has her after school stuff tomorrow, so I don't have to worry about that. Dinner the next two nights is super easy because it's just recipes I'm used to doing, like pizza and pasta, super easy. And I think that's it. I'm going to quickly delete this file because I just uploaded it and it's done. So that's the plan for today. Nothing too crazy. 
I am gonna be busy, but that's like, like that's life. So that's done now. I can close that off. So I'm gonna go eat breakfast. Oh, I also finished the dishes because I didn't do the dishes yesterday, and it's because they weren't like crazy, but now they're crazy because I used so many dishes yesterday. My bad. But I'm gonna do that today too. So that's the plan. Let's get started. I'm gonna go see if Reagan's awake yet and see if she wants breakfast. She was sleeping when I came in here. And um, I'm gonna eat some breakfast first too. So let's get our day started. Okay, okay. You see it <laughs> from doing the dishes? It's not as bad as it usually is, but uh, dishes are done. I can't run the dishwasher, as y'all know, until after I finish making wax for the day. So this evening, uh, just because the top of the table, like the, it just gets so hot. Like the wax doesn't fully cool, it's an issue. But that's fine that's done laundry started reagan is awake but she's like not awake if that makes any sense she's like really groggy so i'm just gonna let her just do her thing until she's ready to come downstairs i'm gonna get started on wax now i'm gonna do more bob's burgers i got a lot done yesterday and this first round is going to complete two more scents and then i should have space to do one of the era scents so i'm gonna do that um now and i think that's like basically my update i just looked also and i need to feed the cats so i will do that first and then wash my hands again because cat food is gross um so i'm gonna do that that's kind of that's the plan for right now um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to share with you i don't think anything has changed in the past hour since i've last spoke to you um yeah let's get started let's get today going i'm gonna do orders either today or tomorrow i'm gonna do them with you guys i know you guys like that so i'll be doing that with you and that's all I can think of right now. My brain is foggy. I need to drink more water. So I'm going to do that now as well. Okay, I finished <clears throat> the first round. And do you need to switch the laundry? I'll do that in a second. But um, I had to print the fattest stack, you guys. Look at this, of labels. And like this isn't even all of them because I just printed one of each of the Bob's Burgers labels because I'm not 100% on uh, stock count yet. But like it is all of the eras because i have a general idea of how many mini junk bags i can make um so i need to label one of each so i can film the new releases which is what i think i'm going to do right now reagan did come downstairs and eat breakfast and she's like i'm just gonna go hang out upstairs i was like alrighty. so i'm gonna switch laundry label one of each of those i already have one of each pulled i just need to label them and then go get ready put on some like full face of makeup i haven't done a full face of makeup since probably the last sit down video i filmed a few weeks ago when we were at disney like i told you guys i just brought mascara and that was fine with me because it was nice although my nose i don't know if you can tell anymore but i did get like t-zone sunburnt but like i used sunscreen but it just didn't help actually you know what really got burnt like badly on me is the back of my legs actually like behind my knees so like from like mid thigh to like behind my knees is so burnt and i don't know why like i i, I don't know why um my arms got some color as well which is cool i guess but yeah i tried to use as much sunscreen as i could but apparently i just missed that whole spot anyway so that's the plan for now just to go film and get that done and over with since it's 10 o'clock which is perfect and to have that done is kind of nice because again it's just like a little bit of a weight off my shoulders um after that i don't know i have wax coming today i actually need to order more but i'm waiting to order more till i order the let's blend scents which i'm ordering this those this weekend so ugh, that's kind of frustrating but i'm like very very low on wax like i said it's coming today but like I want to do the next round immediately after this one because UPS doesn't usually come to like three o'clock and by then I want to be done for the day. I don't want to do another round. So I'm hoping that this next round at least completes the Bob's Burgers collection, which it should. It's only four cents that need to be completed. I think it should. And then um, hopefully I can just do another Eras one. So that'd be great too. But yeah, that's what today's looking at. Looking at, looking like, I swear. I, I know what I'm saying in my brain, but it just does not come out right anyways so i'm gonna go do all that um you like my skyliner shirt it's so cute i told y'all i got a lot of shirts at disney this one's cute i saw i just kept seeing it and i was like i just like the like i don't know like the 90s stripe stuff it's just so bright and fun and colorful and i love it anyways i'm gonna go switch laundry now and put on a full face which i'm kind of excited about because i haven't done that in a while so let's go do all that okay, makeup is on i just hate face makeup i really do and i think it's because my skin isn't like as like 
smooth so like it just doesn't like i'm obviously i'm back here and this camera has like a nice little bit of like a smoothing filter on it so i don't always look as rough as i feel like i look um but like my nose because it's sunburnt is like so patchy and it always is patchy anyway so i'm just like over face makeup but i did a full face and i feel good about it I don't know, one of these days I want to try like a really thick eyeliner again just to see what it looks like. But not for filming this video. But I spoke too soon. Wax was coming FedEx and it was delivered. So that's great. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go fix up my hair. Just kind of like brush it. Maybe run the straightener through it a couple of times. Get this new releases video filmed. And by the time I'm done, um, probably eat some lunch and then get started again. And I think that's a good plan because then once I'm done... I felt, I felt a hair flowing out of my face. Uh, once I'm done, I can fold laundry and figure out what else I want to do today. Dilly-dally, if you will. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for my face to dry, which is why my glasses aren't on yet. And I'm going to film this now. <sighs> which means I need you. Okay, gotta go. Okay, so I'm starting my final round for the day. Um, I'm able to completely finish Bob's Burgers, which is awesome. And I'm working on Speak Now, so that's two of the era's scents, which are done. Um, my cat's driving me mad today. She keeps crying that she's out of food, but we're trying to restrain from putting, like, filling the food container all the way up because, like, she'll eat herself sick. And she's, she's a big girl, so she needs to, you know, work on it. But, um, she just, she won't stop begging for food. And, like, I feel bad because normally I would just fill it up, but that, we can't do that. Anyways, so I'm doing Speak Now, and I'm also doing one of Reagan's faves. She did decide on using, she wants red. She said red like YouTube, so that's what we're doing for Reagan's fave. So I'm doing that as well, just because that needs to go up Monday. I think April 1st is Monday. So that needs to go up then, so I have to get that picture and stuff ready. After that, I'm just going to fold laundry. The laundry, the first load is done, so I do need to fold that and switch over to the second load. But yeah, it's just going to be like laundry and chilling for the majority of the afternoon, like the late afternoon. I'm sure I could find something else to do, but I'm just sleepy, so I'm trying to like wake up. We had lunch after I finished filming. Me and Reagan had lunch, and then I popped everything out, and here we are again. So it's only nine pictures this time. It's not too crazy. I'm sorry, my uh, computer's dying. It's not too crazy like my 17 yesterday. It's only nine, and then tomorrow's literally gonna only be one at a time, or four, four at a time. Um, so like I can fly through, but yeah so that's what i'm doing and just looking forward to the day being kind of closing going to the end of the day because i'm sleepy and i also think when i go upstairs to fold laundry i'm gonna take off this makeup because it's just driving me nuts already everybody else just feel like your days go by like you wake up you start your, your day and it just like flies by like the day is essentially done it's dark outside it's not dark outside it's 3 30 it's just gloomy outside right now i'm sure it's probably about to rain or something but i just finished doing homework with avery and i'm like my day's over <laughs> i mean it's not like i still have like the evening portion of my day god i feel like i'm on the bachelor my evening portion but um yeah i just feel like day went by so quick I basically started our taxes, but I have to wait for Brian. I need one more form that he has to like download off his off his home computer. He doesn't want to do it at work. So um, I'm just waiting on one more thing and then I can finish those. I don't know what comes over me sometimes. I just get these like urges to just do things right away and then I just start doing them. And I'm like, Kristen, you could have done 8,000 other tasks. But I mean, this is important. So started those. Folded the first round of laundry. Second round is in the dryer and I have the molds to pop out. Um, I did Reagan's fave. She wanted red. She decided red. So it's red. <laughs> it smells really good. It's pretzel, salted caramel, and peanut butter cookies. And it's delicious. It's very Reagan. Like pretzel, peanut butter cookies, caramel. Like it's very Reagan. Like I could have did chocolate, but I feel like no one really likes chocolate and wax. Well, sometimes they do, but not like just a plain chocolate scent. But I think that's very Reagan. So I just have to pop out those molds and put everything away. But for the most part, I'm basically done with my day. Once I'm done doing that, which I, I'm going to probably start doing that now, it'll be closer to four and I don't really need to start cooking until like five anyway. So I might go upstairs and pull stickers because I've been filming like first thing in the morning and it's honestly been easier because like if i get it done immediately at like seven in the morning i feel like it really sets my day up a lot better and i don't feel like i'm waiting to film all day so i'll probably pull stickers so that way i can film first thing in the morning tomorrow so i can finish that 
I thought a light was flickering. That scared me. It kind of is. I hate that. Um, and I don't know, just making uh, French bread pizzas tonight. Super easy, just cheesy French bread pizzas. Honestly, the cheese ones taste like garlic bread to me. Just tastes like garlic bread. So probably we'll do that and make like a dipping sauce. Ooh, I should have had, oh, I should have bought stuff to make pizza dip. Cause that could have actually been good to dip those into pizza dip. Um, and we have some broccoli left over from yesterday. I might just steam up for a side and do we have fruit? I think whatever fruit we have has gone bad already. So I don't know. We have applesauce. We have applesauce. So I'll do applesauce. <laughs> I'm over here just trying to figure out. I need to actually set up actual meal plans because I'm getting so bad. I actually, you know what I really want to do? I'm so bad. So when I go, go physically to SPC to work, I am like such a snacker. I will sit there all day and just like munch on pretzels, on pop tarts, on fruit snacks, on granola bars. Like I will be snacking all day long because I just, I don't eat breakfast. So I just like snack all day. At least on those days, I don't eat breakfast. Um, But I need to be better about it. So I was thinking about making like actual snack boxes, but like, not like pop tarts and stuff like I've been taking because I really gotta stop eating so much sugar. But like making like hard boiled eggs and putting like pepperonis and cheese and make, yeah, little pretzels are fine. But like just making like snack boxes that are a little bit more curated and not just like whatever I can find in the pantry. <sighs> so I think I might do that this week. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow, hard boiled. Actually, well, we'll go to the grocery store Saturday, maybe. I could hard boil. I'll start Saturday. I'm not gonna do it tomorrow. That's the later me problem. But yeah, I'm gonna go pop all these out and just kind of chill for the rest of the night. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Probably watch Fargo. I took my makeup off, as you can clearly see. Um, we'll probably take a shower because I've been showering every other day. I know you're not supposed to wash your hair so often, but like, I just, I just do. I just, it, my hair feels gross after like a day, so I have to. And then I'm hoping to finish my book tonight. I'm currently reading Murder Road by Simone St. James. This is my first Simone St. James, and I quite enjoy her writing. It's super easy to read, very fast paced. Um, quick page turner which i like however i've been reading so many like horror slash thrillers back to back to back that i think i need to read something a little bit lighter next because i'm in like a weird dark reading moment and i need to kind of climb out of it but murder road's been good so far i wish it was like i know it's considered a thriller but i wish it was a little bit more horror because the horror elements are good but i want that to be like the main focus and it's not and i'm like Ooh, but I really want more. So I think I should be able to finish it tonight. I've been reading like 100 pages a night. So I think I only have like 100 pages left. So I think I'll finish that tonight too. We'll probably watch another episode of Fargo. Um, I think that's mostly going to be my night. And then I'm thinking for book wise, what I want to start next. I have so many books on my TBR. It's like actually annoying. Like I look at it now and I'm like, okay, Kirsten, you've gone a little overboard. <laughs> but also I'm happy... So I'm kind of in between a couple. I kind of want to read Finale just because I want to finish the Caraval trilogy. And that's what I'm leaning towards. Like I'm really leaning towards that. But, and that's like light, like that's not anything heavy. But I also am like, mm, maybe I should read like Before the Coffee Gets Cold, which is like sweet, I think, or like sweet slash sad. Or maybe I should read like another book and I need to keep going in series. So maybe I should read like another book in the Wayward Children series. I don't know, like, I just wanna read something light. Maybe I'll read another Finlay Donovan. I have the third Finlay Donovan. Like, I don't know, I'm just very, I need something like not horror slash thriller. I need something like different, like fantasy or romance or whatever. So why don't I just read a fantasy romance of the Carnival trilogy and just finish that bad boy up and then I can eventually start Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I have, it's very pretty. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll start finale tomorrow. I'm excited because that means I finished another series. I've only finished like two series, Akitar and Inheritance Games. Are those the only two series I finished? I feel like there's gotta be more, right? I don't know, but that's the, that's probably the book talk for today. I am gonna unhaul some books. I don't have a lot that I'm gonna get rid of, but there is gonna be a few and I'm gonna send the pictures of them to the group chats and see if anybody wants them. And if not, I'll put them in the little free library. Oh, I'm so, okay, real quick, one more book thing. I'm so 
sad because there's a couple people in my neighborhood that post when they add stuff to the little free library in our neighborhood and when we were on vacation i saw one of the posts and it was this book that's been on my like wish list on my amazon wish list for so long and i just had not bought it because i just haven't and i'm like dang i could have went to the little free library today and snagged it but i was on vacation i was so sad and it's gone already and i was like Meh. but Oh, it's good to know like good stuff's being added to the little free library I should like become friends with that person and be like because obviously we have the same reading styles potentially or actually if they hated it Then they hated it Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna stop yabbering. I'm gonna go pop these out Keep it going. I might see you again tonight. I might not we'll see but that's that's the plan for tonight Okay, so I'm, as I'm putting wax away. I remembered something I wanted to share with you guys Okay, speaking of snacks Speaking of snacks, this is going to become a whole new personality trait for me because this is my second pint of this and I'm, I'm already almost gone and I already want to buy more and I will probably buy at least two more this week because I cannot get enough. So I am an ice cream person through and through. I, I love ice cream. There's certain phases in the year, which like the winter time essentially, where I don't eat ice cream at all, but because it's getting warmer out, all I want is ice cream. This is new from Ben and Jerry's, okay? I don't normally get Ben and Jerry's, it's expensive. I get the frickin' HEB brand. Yeah, the HEB brand, what is the brand? I don't know, Creamy Creations or something? I don't know, that shit's good. I'm not mad about it. This Ben and Jerry's, it's new this year, PB S'more is so good, I'm not kidding. Okay, it's toasted marshmallow ice cream. First of all, toasted marshmallow ice cream, it's so creamy. It's like, it's not soft serve, but it's like almost soft serve. It's so creamy with peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups in general and ice cream is my favorite thing ever because I love frozen peanut butter cups. So it's like, it's amazing. Graham cracker pieces, they're like, think cookie dough pieces, like chunky and they crumble in your mouth and with the mallow ice cream, ugh. And then marshmallow swirls which is marshmallow ice cream. I don't even know where that is. Um, this is my second one of this that I've had this week. Mm, it's so freaking good. I just had to share. So if you're looking for a new ice cream and you see this, I found this on my local HEB. I've also found this at Target. Haven't gone anywhere else, but I'm sure everybody else has it because it's so good. Um, ben and Jerry's, if you want to send me a whole truckload of these, I will gladly take it. I will buy a deep freezer specifically for it because this is so good. So good. I'm so serious. Like this PB s'more is so good. I don't know if the dirt cake one is new, but I also want to try that one next. Fish food, always a classic. It's actually really good. Half baked, always a classic. I like fish food a little bit more, but this one, best thing I've ever had in my entire life, honestly. I'm not kidding. I, sorry, I know I've been in this space like all day. Um, I decided against pulling stickers. That sound you're hearing is the dishwasher. The oven is heating up for me to put bench breads in. Um, I folded the other load of laundry. Obviously, served the dishwasher. I made the April shop calendar and scheduled that post on Facebook. I still need to get a picture of Reagan's fave. I need that tomorrow because um, I need to add that to that post. And then what did I do? Nothing. <laughs> I've just been kind of laying here, or sitting here, laying here, goodness gracious. Um, I'm so beat. But I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go back on Pinterest. I just love Pinterest sometimes. Like, it's just kind of nice. And find some recipes. Realistically, yeah, just some recipes. Ooh, I love this, 20 kid-friendly meals, please. Um, and I'm gonna start opening them, downloading them, saving them, printing them, whatever, because like, I'm sick of it like being like grocery shop day and I'm like, what do I want to make? I hate that because you know what? It's like, it's high pressure. It's a high pressure situ situation. I don't know what I want to make. Like pizza, pasta and one random thing. And like, that's not fun. I want to do like actual fun, not fun, but like good meals. They keep getting ads for Disney. Can we not? It says finish booking. Did I start a booking? <laughs> I'm not going back to Disney. Um, at least not right now. That looks delicious. One pot chicken parmesan pasta. I know I just said no pastas, but like, come on. Something different would be great. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do for now. Brian should be leaving to come home soon. Um, I'll pull stickers in the morning. Might even shower in the morning. No, I'll shower tonight. I don't know. I'm just tired. Um, I haven't even drank that much water today. Like, I'm doing so bad. But that's what I 
I've decided to do, if you're in a recipe rut, or if you're not in a recipe rut and you have a thousand and one recipes, can you send me over like a blog or something that you like to use or like the TikToks that you like to follow? Cause like I'm in a recipe rut again. Like we have a bunch that are in our rotation. Like I have a full note on my phone full of like recipe ideas, but I'm just like in a rut and I want something fresh, but also delicious, like super good. Kid friendly would be great. Like picky eater friendly would be great. Um, Cause last night the kids literally looked at the food and were like, cool. I'm like, cool. <laughs> <sighs> it was delicious though, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And, um, see you when I see you. Also, real quick side note, um, I just wanna pop in here. I know these vlogs, like, you can literally just put them on and walk away. It's essentially a podcast. You're welcome. Um, I'm making meatloaf next week. I've decided. Because I've been wanting to make meatloaf for, like, a month now. I'll say a month. Ever since I started getting back into wanting to do one new thing a week or whatever. That hasn't started this week. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh, I'm embarrassing. I'm making meatloaf, but I'm making the kids eat it. Because I remember meatloaf being so good. And I found this one recipe that includes, like, stovetop stuffing. And I'm like, ooh, that could be good. So, hopefully next week you see me making a meatloaf. Do I have the pan for it? I'll Amazon a pan for it. Cause like, Or maybe we'll run to Target this week. What's cheaper, running to Target or ordering off Amazon? Probably Amazon. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. I just got finished filming my plan with me. It's completely done, which is awesome. So I'll edit that probably Saturday because I'm not, or maybe I'll do today. I don't know. We'll see. Um, super early. I'm a little tired. I didn't shower last night, so my hair is really gross. I put dry shampoo in it, but I feel like it's going to end up in a bun by the end of the day because I'm gross. I'll shower tonight though, for sure, because I don't want to be, I, this hair is driving me nuts. Um, trash truck is going around, so if you hear some weird noises, it's that. But yeah, finished my book last night. Pretty excited about that. Did decide to go ahead and start Finale because I want to finish out a series. I don't know, maybe, again, I, I always say these things like it doesn't happen. Maybe I'll make April me like going through series, like continuing on in series as I've started because like I got to get there somewhere, you know, someday, somewhere, whatever. Anyways, today, uh, plans for today. I need to go eat. Um... Then I'm going to try and do, well, I am going to do three rounds of wax today because the mini chunk bags aren't crazy. The first round is going to be a mini chunk bag and three samples because I need to get the samples done. Then the other two rounds are just going to be mini chunk bags. So that's great. Got to get labels made for those and label the samples. I would also like to label the Bob's Burger scents today. I've been labeling the era stuff as I go. So that's fine. And then I have open orders that I would like to do today as well. Uh, I have to do listings and the Facebook posts and everything for tomorrow because the release is tomorrow for everything and there's so much I'm like actually a little I think it's gonna take me like a couple hours honestly to do like listings and posts and everything Man, maybe like an hour and a half not too much but I have to do that today too so nothing too crazy I did get the majority of my stuff done yesterday which is wonderful but absolutely have to get to work on wax absolutely have to get orders done and Avery has her after school stuff today so I have like an extra hour so that's cool until I have to get her Dinner tonight's gonna be easy peas, and that's it. That's my plans for today. So, oh, I also need to edit and upload the new releases, but that also won't take that much time. So, oh, I have a Charlie horse in my calf. I woke up in the middle of the night last night with it, and uh, hasn't gone away yet. So that's been really fun. So I'm gonna go eat some breakfast, check in on Reagan. She went to bed really late last night, so hopefully she's either still asleep or still trying to be asleep i don't know that girl really needs extra sleep because she she needs her sleep that's all i'll say so i'm gonna go eat breakfast and get with my day get with my day this is why i really should just stop i really should just be like you know what that's it because <laughs> i can't talk <sighs> okay let's get started it's already like super light out i've been basically pitter pattering for the past like 30 minutes. So I need to actually get to work because it's almost nine and I need to like get the ball. Oh my gosh, my nose started running. Get the ball rolling on making wax because I have to do three rounds today. So I did pull the three samples that I'm gonna be doing. I'm doing two that I feel like everyone's gonna like and then one that's like kind of a toss up, but I really like it. So almond macaroon, I feel like everyone's gonna like that. Danish butter cookies, everyone's gonna like that. But I'm also doing pipe tobacco because Ever since we got back from Disney, the Pirates ride, as we were riding it, we rode it twice because like, it's my favorite ride at Disney. Um, it just is, it's just my favorite. I can't, can't 
explain it. Um, we were trying to figure out what the water smells like. Me and Brian both times were like, what does this smell? And Brian was like, it smells to me like pipe tobacco, cucumber, and like maybe a hint of bubble gum. And I was like, that's honestly might be right. I know there's like a specific scent for it, but like it smells like tobacco and cucumber. And like, I don't know. So I've been really like loving that scent. So I'm like, I'm gonna make pipe tobacco get a feel for if anybody likes it we'll see but yeah so i'm gonna do those i'm gonna do i skipped fearless i think yesterday because i needed salted caramel and it came yesterday evening so i have that now so i'm gonna go ahead and do i think it's fearless i think it is and those three and then i'm gonna do orders and just kind of keep the ball moving so let's just get started and stop procrastinating because that's the name of my game honestly Alrighty, everything is poured. I have pulled out everything to do orders. There's eight orders, but my table is full because the last order is intense and I'm really excited. It came in last night and I was like so excited. So let's do these eight orders. I mean, to be fair, I'm excited for all of them, but yes, before I get started though, I will say I decided I'm not going to label the Bob's Burger scents today. I'm going to save that for Tuesday um, just because I'll have time. I mean, I'll have time today technically, but I'll have time Tuesday as well. And I feel like that's totally fine with me. So today, then after this, like this, two more rounds, labeling the freebies and doing listings in the Facebook posts is realistically all I need to get done today. Other than like a couple of video stuff. So I'm feeling better about that. I don't feel as overwhelmed. So regardless, let's get started. So at first we have Chloe from Virginia. Chloe got a Jacques and Gus mini chunk bag as well as two of Lucifer. Chloe's freebie is going to be mango sorbet. And here is Chloe's order heading to Virginia. Next up, we have Stephanie from Maryland, if I'm correct, and I believe I am. This Stephanie has a YouTube channel where she talks all about wax melts. I highly recommend it. I will, if I remember, which I hopefully will, because I hope to get this video up this weekend, or next weekend, edit it, regardless. I will link her channel down below because she talks all about wax melts. She has tons of hauls, melting baskets. It's like really interesting and fun to watch. I've really been enjoying her channel and you should definitely check it out. But this is her order, Stephanie from Maryland. She got one of our pre-order overpours. This is Boom Boom Type and Strawberry Pound Cake. And Oops of Lucifer. This uh, paw print is completely full, like totally fine. This one is just poured smaller than the other ones. Oops of Drizella and Anastasia. I feel like the oops here is pretty self-explanatory. And Oops of Fairy Godmother. This one again is totally fine, this cloud shape, but this one is just not poured to the top of the mold. And an Oops of A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. I think... The it's a small world sign is poured to the top. These two are not and there's this is usually a pack of four So there's three here for Stephanie's freebie. It's going to be another mango sorbet And here is Stephanie's order heading to Maryland next up. We have Elizabeth from Texas Elizabeth got all oops melts. The first is bippity boppity boo. This is the skinniest XL snap bar I think I've ever poured an oops of royal ball Look how skinny Oops of Prince Charming. I believe this might actually be poured to the top, but I didn't have a second one, so there's just one. Actually, this seems a little skinny. We'll say it's skinny. Oops of Clock Strikes Midnight. Again, not poured to the top of the mold. And an Oops of Jock and Gus. We went over this in the last vlog. I have like 11 of these uh, because this color is wrong. So it's essentially a perfectly fine mini chunk bag, just heavily discounted and in an ugly color. But does that matter really when you're melting it? I don't know, but there you go. And for Elizabeth's freebie, it's going to be a blueberry lemon donut. Fun, a new one. And here is Elizabeth's order making its way to a different city here in Texas. Next up, we have Daniela from California. And Daniela got all oops melts. The first is Clock Strikes Midnight. Skinny little pumpkin here. Oops of Lucifer, there are three of the paw prints in here, but they're all not poured to the top. So I figured just putting three together made sense. An Oops of Prince Charming, not poured at the top, and just a single tart. We've already gone over Jacques and Gus. I'm just so frustrated still that I messed up the colors, but hey, my Oops works in your favor. And Daniela's freebie is going to be a mango sorbet. And here is Daniela's order heading to California. Next we have Kaylee from Minnesota. Uh, first I'll show you Kaylee's Oops melts. So she did get a Prince Charming, just a single tart, not poured to the top of the mold. Glass slipper, which this is not poured to the top of the mold and it's just a single little heart waffle here. Usually this is a pack of two. Jacques and Gus. <laughs> and then as for the like regular melts, we have a dream is a wish your heart makes. 
Battle for Hogwarts, Candy's Kid, Drizella and Anastasia, Champagne Juicy Berries and Citrusy Tangerine, Marshmallow Peppermint, Pistachio Almond Cookies and Zucchini Bread, as well as Monica and Chandler. This is going to go in two different bubble bags, so two different freebies. The first is Blueberry Lemon Donut. The next is Mango Sorbet. And here is Kaylee's order heading to Minnesota. Next we have Jenny from Missouri. Jenny got an Oops of Jacques and Gus. Princess Sweet, Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale, Love Spell Type, Cinderella, Pistachio Almond Cookies and Zucchini Bread, Gingerbread Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookie Royale, and Blonde Moment Type with Blueberry Muffin. This is going to be two bubble bags, so two different freebies. The first is a Blueberry Lemon Donut, and the next will be Barbershop. And here is Jenny's order heading to Missouri. Next we have a new person. This is Chelsea from Pennsylvania. So you got two snap bars for her first order. The first is Coffee Shop and Palo Santo Toasted Malo and Sugar Cookie Royale. This freebie is going to be Mango Sorbet. And here is Chelsea's first order going to Pennsylvania. Next up we have our big one. This is Sonia from Colorado. It is three pages, 42 items. Editing Kirsten, are you ready? Viewer, are you ready? It's gonna be a little intense. Are y'all ready? Here we go. We started with three of Bippity Boppity Boo, Zella and Anastasia, a normal Jacques and Gus, four of Your Crowning Glory, Princess Mia, Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes, Fox Strikes Midnight, Lord Nicholas, Bob and Linda, Allie and Noah, The Kiss, Queen of Genovia, Royal Ball, Lady Tremaine, I Have My Own Mall, Prince Charming, Escape from Gringotts, Shut Up, Slumber Party, Fairy Godmother, Battle for Hogwarts, Glass Slipper, Dear Diary, Two of Lucifer, Maurice, Spring Court, On and Hermione, Fairy Tale Ending, Two of Meredith and Derek, Cinderella, Nick and Jess, Two of Monica and Chandler, Princess Sweet, and finally, The Boy Must Die. This order is going in a large box and it's being packed very strategically, like it, like literally like Tetris. I'm trying to make sure everything fits perfectly. So as far as freebies go, I'm just gonna kind of give Sonia one of everything we have that I can find just because I'm telling you it was easier this way. So we have a barber shop, mango sorbet, summer boardwalk type, a blueberry lemon donut, banana pudding, Cherry cheesecake, green apple. Um, is there anything? Oh, cherry Jolly Rancher. I think cocoa butter cashmere and blueberry pecan waffles. I think that's everything we have in here currently. So, yeah, this. Uh, trust me when I say like this box, it's packed very particularly. And here is Sonia's order. I think this is the biggest order we packaged together. Heading to Colorado. Alrighty, so that was exactly the amount of time I needed for those to cool. So I'm gonna pop those out in a second and get started with the next round. And while the next round is cooling, I'm gonna do listings and stuff. So I think I, well, yeah, I still have to do listings, but I'm also gonna pop apart the freebies because those I need to pop them out anyway. So I'm gonna get started on that. That's basically that. I'm excited to have those be picked up tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. I felt like there was something else, but I think that's all I wanted to say. Okay, so I just got finished doing, well, did I tell y'all I poured another round? I poured another round and it's 15 minutes past the time I need to pop those out. So I'm gonna go pause what I'm doing now to pop those out and get another round started. Crossing my fingers, I was hoping to maybe eventually try and do four rounds today, but I think three is gonna probably be my max, but we'll see, because next round is third, and if I can do another, that'd be great. It's almost one o'clock, though. Um, I just did all the listings. I haven't had the opportunity to do the Facebook post or the Instagram post yet. The listings took me forever, like literally forever. My brain started like doing that. I was like, I can't, like going cross-eyed. Um, I did try something new with these listings, and depending on like feedback, and like I'm not gonna say anything, but like, Depending on if we get like feedback or anything on this depends on if I change all the listings to like this way moving forward mm -hmm. But essentially um, ours would always say wax melt and then the name of the melt and that was it So I have it as so for example um, God, I have three pages of listings. I have 87 listings. Oh, this camera battery is dying. But anyway, so for example um, I have 
one of the era's ones says wax melt midnight and then it has the scent notes so it says wax melt midnight blueberry old town big shop and pretzel in the actual like title versus well it's also still in the description but in the title so that way like when you go to the site i feel like you don't have to open every single description if you're not following the facebook group or anything like that um i also feel like that might be an easier way so if that's something that everybody likes i'll take the time to one of these days go through every single one that's already available still and then in the future just switch to that as well so i'm pausing what i'm doing right now to go pop those out and then i am going to do the facebook post and everything i still haven't had a chance to pop out the freebies and label those up yet actually while i'm making the next round i'm gonna go ahead and print those and probably the bob's burgers labels so that way those are all printed but that's what i've been doing i think three rounds might be my max today but four just sounds so good we'll see okay so i don't remember the last time i checked in with you guys but I just finished, well, I didn't just finish pouring the third round, but the third round is poured. It's like, I went to go pop them out, but they are not ready yet, which is odd because it has been a full hour, but I'm just going to wait till we get back from getting Avery because they'll definitely be cooled by then, and then it'll take me five minutes to pop those out. Um, I did toy with the idea of doing a fourth round today, but it's just getting so late, and it's just, time-wise, it doesn't make any sense. I have stuff still to do. I did label all the freebies, package those up. The freebie bin is huge. Oh, I forgot this camera battery's dying. Hold on. Okay, back to that. So the freebie bin is massive, just basically overflowing, but that's good. Um, Facebook posts, everything is ready to go. Instagram, everything's like scheduled and ready to go for tomorrow, which is awesome. I printed all the Bob's labels, so I was able to delete the stock counts because I don't need those anymore. Um, I made my to-do list for next week. Uh, I still need to get that picture of Reagan's fave, but I probably will do that Saturday. Yeah, my to-do list for next week is kind of dumb. Um, I also started the grocery list for next week. I'm actually going to be making two new recipes next week, meatloaf is included. Really excited, still have to buy the meatloaf pan. We'll probably do that soon. Um, anything else that I did? I mostly just kind of stared at the wall for a minute because my brain is just like, cannot compute. You know, it's just not working. So I'm up here. I do need to get ready here in like 20 minutes to go get Avery, but I'm just going to throw on some shorts. It's nice outside, I think. I don't know. I haven't seen the outside in a little. So I think it's nice out. Um, but I'm up here because I'm going to offload the camera and I need to get the new releases video edited now because I need to have that uploaded for tomorrow morning. Um, and if I have any other additional time, I will probably just quickly edit the plan with me as well. Other than that, my game plan for the rest of the night is just to cook. Did I tell y'all I'm making pasta? Super easy, sim super simple, just sauce, pasta, garlic bread. Actually, I'm not making the garlic bread because I can actually delete that off my list too for our pasta next week. I'm not going to make the garlic bread. We have, we bought a loaf of the rosemary sourdough from H-E-B and it's one of my favorite things to buy. It's like weirdly one of the splurge items I don't mind purchasing from H-E-B because it's like $5 for a loaf, but it's so good. It's in their bakery section. It's fantastic. Um, so we'll just do that with like some spreadable butter and that's fine. Um, I need to shower. Avery doesn't have school tomorrow, so that's great. I have work, but meh. Um, and everything for this weekend's pretty much good to go. Like, I just have to do a couple rounds of the era stuff on Saturday and get Reagan's fave picture, which I could do tonight. That's, like, probably something I should do tonight. But, yeah, I'm up here because I just need to offload you guys. You guys are getting full because all I do is chit-chat. My back hurts from sitting like that. I gotta sit straight up. But yeah, I'm gonna offload y'all. Let's make some folders. I have so many folders. Anybody else? Cozy, round time, play with me. Did I film anything else? I don't think I did. But yeah, I'm gonna offload you guys and then go get Avery here in a little. Pop out those molds, cook dinner. I'm sure I'll see you at least one more time before the end of the day. At least one more time. Back. Just wanted to check in before I end the vlog. I forgot my headphones. I have to go get those. Went got Avery. It's gorgeous outside today. Like gorgeous. Like I just want to go sit out there. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna quickly upload the new releases. Edit the plan with me, and then by the time I'm done, it's gonna be time to start cooking dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I pff, bag in action, I guess. Um, I saw a thing. Someone said uh, that because of like the whole TikTok situation that like vlogging is becoming big again. People are liking long form content again all of a sudden. So, hey, <laughs> here you go. Quality content, I'm sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next week, all right? Bye guys.